Hey everyone, Mark here from Pine Tech, and today we got my compact holster for the Bobarg XR9S, or they'll also work for the Bond Arms Bullpup 9. It's it's the same gun. All right, guys. So this is my compact inside the waistband concealed carry holster, and this is going to fit the Bobarg XR9S. Um, now this was a fun. A lot of people asked me to make a holster for this. Um, uh, through enough request and and it's been fun too so the challenge with this is because of where the trigger guard and the barrel is barrel is uh, the proximity of the two it's the barrel so short where the trigger guard is and typically let's pop this in here you know you're going to mount the belt clip right just usually a little bit above the trigger guard because the grip's always going to be right there and your fingers got to pass through so as you can see here we got the fingers passed through however because the barrel is so short all the weight of this gun is going to be above the belt line for the most part. The majority of the weight of this gun is above the belt line. And the problem when you got a holster with that is, is it's going to want to tip out all the weights up top here. It's going to want to tip out. Now you can remedy, remedy that with a claw that, which isn't going to work on this because quite frankly, there's just not no, there isn't any room for a claw. Typically you would mount a claw under the trigger guard. So, on a regular gun, your barrel still has a few inches underneath here, depending on if it's a compact or a full size, it's going to vary. But you've got at least a few inches underneath here to mount a claw. You know, a claw would mount, the two screws would be right here. And then it would come over and then come up, and that would meet the back of your belt. Well, we're, we can't mount a claw on this one. It's too, it's too small. So I thought of, um, but we really want to counteract that tip out. So. I flared this out like I would with a, a laser or a, a light accessory on the firearm. Because And what's that going to do is, <clears throat> as it, this is inside your waistline, <clears throat> excuse me, this part of the holster, this extra flare, it's extra width that acts like a paddle. So imagine this is just your hip or wherever appendix carry you want to wear it, um, somewhere along your waistline. The weight is going to want to come out, but now you have this extra area, this widened, this widened part of the holster, and that's going to help stabilize this whole holster the best that you can get it um, and prevent that tip out. So it's more, more comfortable. You don't feel like your gun's trying to get away from you when you're carrying. Um, you can also remedy that with uh, just having a nice, very stiff, strong belt uh, will help with that as well. So. Um, I thought this little flare out here and wearing it around and testing it out, uh, it does it does its atten intended job, which is to help stabilize this gun when you're wearing it, so it doesn't feel like it's getting away from you. It's not that's not a good feeling when you're um, concealing a firearm. So, um, and as you can see here, what I was talking about, I'm going to put this little one and a half inch um, square here in there, and you can see how it's going to sit on your your belt line. You still got your clearance for your fingers. And then you're going to have that nice little flared out area to keep this holster feeling more comfortable. And that, that's the main goal. Uh, if you're new to any of my videos or if you're new to Pine Tech, uh, all my, I'm a custom Kydex holster maker, uh, one man show for the most part. And what you can see is I, I spent a lot of time working on edge work, the shape of the holster. So obviously function is always going to be number one. That's the main priority. But the overall shape and appearance and just the small details of craftsmanship are kind of really what I, I pride myself on. Um, and how I maintain that is I try making sure I don't have any 90 degree corners. You know, up top here, there's no like shoehorn to poke you in the leg or the stomach. Uh, up along the slide, I, I try, the belt sander is not my friend. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, holsters out there that are just a lot of straight lines because it's easier to make and it's faster. Um, that's not my priority here. So, um, and then edge work. I spent a lot of time with my edge work, a lot of shaping, sanding, polishing, buffing. You can see there's no tool marks in there. There's a little wax I put on at the end as well. So get some nice shiny edges that stay really smooth, both inside and outside. Inside too, the just out, you know, the inside, the part that contacts your gun too. So, but here we go. Um, so on this, you got a one and a half inch belt clip, a couple finished washers up top. You got some rubber washers underneath there to help alleviate the tension of taking this thing on and off all day long. You got that nice positive snap against the holster. That way, when you 
clip your belt in there or slide this over your belt, you're going to hear that snap. It's going to click in. That belt ain't going nowhere. This holster's staying on until you lift this up and take it off. And uh, down, down here, you've got these two retention screws so you can adjust. You get that Kydex snap. This one's pretty loose, so it drops right in. I think this one I have tightened a little bit more, so you get that little bit more of an audible snap. But you get the point. The retention is up to you. You can adjust it to your liking. Um, I will post a link in my web uh, down below in the comments to the website uh, so you can order. Uh, this is my compact inside the waistband holster. This little fun brown leather one, I'll post a link. I do a lot of fun colors sometimes and I post this as a separate little page on my website of just random prints that are more of one-offs that I do um, that I don't list those colors. It's just special Kydex I can get at the time. So I'll post a link for this brown leather one too. So if you're watching this, go, hey, that looks cool. I want it. Click that link. See if it's still there. If it's gone, I'm sorry, guys. Otherwise, I uh, appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, thank you a lot. I'm glad I got enough people wanting um, to me make holsters for this particular firearm. And I hope you like them. So like and subscribe if you can, guys. Thank you.